The Deck Network. Build a deck. Bam! This is The Deck Network. I'm your host, Mike Danzilio. And we have the loose cannon. The co-host, Matt Dalton. Remember at The Deck Network, it's all decks all the time. Okay, Matt, what's up? It's Not much. It's uh, springtime. It's still, you, by looking outside, you wouldn't be able to tell. But it's almost March. And it's almost time for the magic that is decking season. Yes, so, so today's show, let's get right into it because this one might be somewhat of a long one. We are going to talk about TimberTech and AZAC railings. Mm. Uh, a few years ago, we had a merger with the, both the, they were separate companies, TimberTech and AZAC. They pretty much merged. So they had all these great railings. And what are they going to do? They have to try to somehow marry them together. So they, they changed a few colors, names, this and that. But it really worked out great because they got a lot of great products. You know, I get this question all the time. What's the best decking? Well, and what do I always say? The big brand names, the top two or three brands, they're the ones that have the best decking. They've been making it longest. And they, they've weathered any storms as far as uh, warranties. Railing, it's even more so. The top... Trex, Tempertech, Azac have far and away the most rails, the most comprehensive different lines, all sorts of infill options. They have everything. So even if you don't believe me about the decking, definitely with the railing. So let's get into it. We have a video from the... Who are we talking to today? Uh, Jason Duvall oh, okay. from the... Um, from CPG Building Products, to the makers of Tempertech and Azac decking. He's been on the show probably been on the program, a bunch of times. Of program. So... Uh, Let's get right into that, and we'll talk about the products when we get back. Hi, today we're at the International Builder Show at the TimberTech and AZAC booth, and we're going to take a look around. Hi, today we're with Jason Duvall from CPG Building Products. Jason, how you doing? Doing great, great Mike. To how see are you? you? Great to All see right, you. All right, okay, we get to do another video today. The today with your products. Uh, right now, you're going to show us the railings for 2015. Absolutely, we have a nice, uh, a nice new demonstration to show this year. It's our rail garden for for trade shows, um, and uh, in this rail garden, we show just about every um, uh, of our railing options. We have seven styles, four different infill options on this rail garden. Uh, I'm going to walk through each of the different styles. Starting off with Radiance Rail Express, we have this in uh, Kona with black composite balusters. Next we have our Evolutions Rail uh, here with the contemporary style, contemporary top rail, aluminum balusters as the infill option. Traditional walnut is the color that we have here. This is the Evolutions Builder style with uh, our new for 2014 glass infill option. Uh, we have uh, these uh, aluminum channels that hold the glass available in white and black. And then our upgraded AZEC rail, upgraded in 2014. Here we have the trademark style with white composite balusters. And then the premier style in our brownstone color with square aluminum balusters. Really excited about all these options. Okay, we also have our uh yeah, the reserve rail is our large scale railing on the AZEC side. It has a five and a half inch wide top rail and then a wider composite baluster, inch and, inch and three quarters wide baluster. And here's our, uh, Mike, here's our radiance rail system. We've been having it on the market for over 10 years. This is with uh, our cable rail infill option. It's been really popular over the past few years, uh, really to protect the view of homes on the coast or, or with a very scenic view. And uh, we're showing this with our post cap lights um, and uh, all in the, the white color. Okay, that pretty much touches it all. Yeah, thanks, thanks Mike. Help. Okay. Thanks. okay, Matt. Good looking yeah. stuff there. Well, I mean, they have beautiful displays at these, uh, the builder shows. Yeah, the ones that I never get invited to, but anywho, um, the reserve rail, Mike, uh, that looked really good on the, uh, on the thing, and we're going to show some. I got a reserve rail right here, Boom. right off, yeah, right off set a little bit. So we're going to get into it, and we're going to we're going to probably do it in an organized manner. So with the websites, I'm looking at the TimberTech site right now, into the railing page, and they have their. Evolutions Rail. So let's look at the Evolutions Rail. Okay. Oh, we'll just grab man. the Evolutions yeah, not, Rail. They can't be right, it's right behind that one. That one. Okay. Grab that one. That'll be the next one. All right. And then. Um, These are. Yeah, that's the Evolutions Rail. Marcos built this for me the other Unbelievable. day. Unbelievable. Yep. This is the Evolution Rail. Comes in three colors. Comes in the traditional walnut, the brick, and the bl black. Matt likes it because it's very drink friendly. The uh, it has either. 
you can use all the different infill options as uh, Jason told us about. You have the square balusters, you can use the round or the square aluminum balusters. For the most part, people just use the round balusters on a standard railing, and if you have an aluminum railing, for some reason they always like the square balusters. And then the glass rails you can put in here, or you can put the the cable option. Mm -hmm. I think there's we one. We do have a cable. Yeah, that, grab that one over here. This, that uh, was a nice infill, one. Or? Yep, that was a good one right there. And this is just great. How you're able to basically display all the products, yes. see how it works, see what how a, it looks. What a nice job that they did on this rail. They even showed the uh, the hardware because this is what really kind of uh, makes it a little bit more expensive. I have some of these hardware right here. And the cable infill option, you can go up to 60 feet. See, this is what the expensive part is, is these, these connectors. And the way that they work is they have the threaded end here, and it goes into the 4x4 that's inside the, uh, the, the sleeve. But as you notice, there is not any nuts or bolts on the other side. A lot of rails, you will see that, cable rails. But this is the difference in how we try to differentiate our products. This one does not. It told, it's been engineered and it's told the strength inside here. You can go up to 60 feet without having to or necessitate to use any more of these couplings. These are the expensive parts. The couplings. The, yes, the hardware. It's the 316 stainless steel. They come, I think, for a 36-inch reel, they're nine for each side, so you get 18 pieces, and it's almost $500. Wow, and when but it's looks, a strength, though. Well, it's not strength, but it, oh, it's definitely strong because it has to hold the strength, but it, they don't want it to corrode. So the 316 stainless, and they're very precisely made. Mm. So you don't want any rust or corrosion. This is the product that you want to get. Now. We use, for over the years, we've talked about this plenty of times. Let's uh, move that rail over there, please. Oh, okay. Is that we don't usually like to talk about pricing, but the evolution of the way that it is, and people are... It's a new world. People want to know, and so I'm fine with, with talking about some pricing. So I just quickly punched in some numbers. That evolution rail, that's without the, in the cable option, with just the standard balusters in, in those three colors. It runs about 38 to $44 a linear foot. And how I figure that is that over the years, our people say, well, how do you price out railings? You can't just get a six-foot section of rail and divide it by six. Well, that's not a very accurate price because you don't have the posts. Mm. Then you can't have two posts because if you figured a long deck, you would have too many posts. And so that's not accurate either. The most accurate, fairest way that I can come to find out, we use a, yeah, pull that one in here. This one? No, the, yeah, the white one. Oh, okay. We use a, this is what we're going to talk about next, so we're going to bring it up now. I get a six foot section of rail with the balusters. Then I get a sleeve, a cap, and a skirt. Add it up, divide it by six. Now, it's, it's not 100% perfectly accurate because that's the price for a six foot rail. Now, if you have a five foot section, you're going to have to buy a six foot. Also, if you have a, a seven foot section, you need to get an eight foot. And that would be if you had a an infinite amount of feet footage, this would work out well because you have a post, a six foot section, a post, a six foot section. You would can keep can putting a continuous post at the end, but not all decks are like that. So, so you're gonna need an extra post somewhere. Mm. So if you add about a dollar, a linear foot to that, you know, bring it up from the, uh, the 38 to 44, say 39 to 45, that's gonna fit it in. And then people say, well, why is there a price range? Well. Pricing for building products, as in most things, it's how much you buy and how you pay. So if you're going to use a credit card for one section of rail, you're probably going to pay a retail price. Mm -hmm. And then people ask, well, why is a credit card more expensive? A lot of people don't know this, that the way that the uh, credit card companies make their money is, say, for all these rewards cards that came out whenever, 10 years ago, they charge a lot of money for that. They charge the retailer about three and a quarter to three and a half percent for when you swap something, that that's card. a lot. That's so the especially card, on a big piece of uh, yeah, big purchase like yeah. a deck. If you're spending 10, 15 yeah. grand, that's the a lot. credit card companies actually make a more. They make more on the sale than we make profit on the sale. So that's really what has a lot to do with pricing. Sure, a large quantity. If you buy one piece, it'll be one price. If you buy 40 sections of rail, then you will probably get a different price. And I also have figured in there uh, for contractor pricing. A contractor that buys a quarter million dollars worth of material is obviously going to get a slightly better price, made, even if it's only three percent or five percent. Makes a big because difference. Because it's just everything is so tight in a pro in a uh, 
product like these building products, there's low margins on them. It's not like mm -hmm. jewelry where they, they'll take a product and they'll multiply it four times and then they'll figure Furniture it out. Yeah. Furniture or something So like yeah, that. something like, or even clothing, they, they don't care about the credit card fee then because the credit card fee is such a small percentage of the total sale. It's really not, mm -hmm. it doesn't make all that much of a difference. So let's get looking in. We have that reel. Let's bring this all one right. back out here. All right. This is what the Radiance Rail, that's next in line on the uh, website. Radiance Rail is pretty much the industry standard for rails. We This is the rail that I sell the most of. Comes in probably six or so different colors. And uh, this pricing goes from it, the Radiance Rail, the white is from about $34 to $44 a foot. That's figured with the kits. And the, the Timber Tech ones, it's probably about the same with the kits or if you buy it all separately. And the colors are about 42 to 47 48 dollars a linear foot this stuff is really really nice the uh, here's a piece of like I said that they when they yeah, this one let me turn the little lights on here we got this one has like a, oh, look at little that. lights we can flick around here the light the light system for the Tech radiance rail is great the uh, the white is the most popular they come in six eight and ten foot sections the ten foot section has a little bit more reinforcement in it so it probably wouldn't be cost effective if you have a, an eleven foot section or okay a ten foot section or a nine foot section to get one ten foot and say oh, I'm gonna cut it in half or if you have two fives you might as well just get two sixes and cut them down it'll probably cost you a little less because they make these stronger they make them for the full length that full ten foot length but, uh, that's the white Beautiful. This is the railing that I sell the most of, even, yeah, it even though it's the most expensive white rail that we sell here at No Maintenance Stacks. That's the one that we sell the most of. This is uh, this. Ha this happens to be the the uh, the Azac Premier rail, but it, um, the reason I'm showing it is the color, this Kona color. They have it in the Radiance. Another big, big seller. Beautiful color. They changed the color after the merger, and. Uh, slightly change the color and it has a different shine to it I think it looks phenomenal it's got like a semi-gloss yeah, sheen it, to it but you know when you, we saw the evolutions rail a little earlier a lot of times and this is had this just happened last year because it was the first year that they had the more shiny black and the uh, Kona rail is that some people are opting to go for that evolutions rail that we saw earlier with the uh, with these balusters on it because it's just not as it's not as shiny, it has more of a dull finish, matte or a matte fillet. finish, that's what Matt was named after. Hello. Matt, Matt Finish, she was a, uh, <laughs> from Finland. And, uh, there you go, look at that. <laughs> so, but this is, uh, a lot of times they're opting for this one because it's not as shiny. So if you like a more shiny rail, then the, the black or the Kona, and if you want a more of a matte finish or a duller finish, not saying that Matt's dull. Yeah, come on Is that uh, the, the, the Evolutions rail, it has a different the plastics are different on it and it's just a different look the evolution rail has less material showing but nonetheless great rail it was, we, uh, the, it's only been out for a few years the first year we didn't sell a whole lot of it but last year we really sold quite a bit and we actually stock it here at the no maintenance decks so let's go down to the next one the builder rail okay that's the one with the, that's the one right down right there down grab here. that now this rail we don't sell a whole lot of it's got a little tag on it. It has the, it's a traditional builder style rail with the 2x4 here and there, a 26 inch baluster. That tends to be an issue sometimes because not everyone carries the 26 inch baluster, usually the 29 to 30 inches that you'll see on the uh, Evolutions or the Radiance rail. And then most of the time people will, on the top, they'll put a piece of the decking on it. How do you feel about that? Uh, it looks okay. No, it matches really. It's going to match your deck nicely. Yeah, that's true. The, uh, the Evolutions Rail has a, has a special cap piece. It's a little bit more expensive. It's a little wider also, so it covers the... Uh, it's not flush with the post. Yeah, it's a, it's a little closer on the fit. But this rail was out in a different style many years ago in, in, uh, <laughs> through uh, Timber Tech. And I think people bought it because they, they thought it cost less, but this does not cost any less than the standard Evolutions rail. If you, it may be the difference in how you set the top up, so, because this has got more material on it than the Evolutions rail, so of course it goes by weight. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the Builder rail. We don't sell a whole lot of it. You can pull that down, Matt. And then we got the Radiance rail Express, which is 
Matt, can you run over and grab that yeah, brown one? They were a little short staffed here? here today. We yeah. usually have an intern staff here that'll yeah. help us. But uh, you know, they're getting ready. Yeah. Oh, this one. Now. The next one. The brown. No, the other side. The other side. The other Boom. one. The okay. other one. All right. Yeah, we got Bam. a lot of we have a lot of rails over here today. You know, this we're one. Up to our neck and decks over here. I'll tell you this railing, the Evolutions rail. Timber Tech knows that the Radiance rail is kind of pricey. And it's worth it. It's a beautiful rail. We sell a lot of it. So what they did was they made a, let's not call it a stripped down version, but a scaled down version of their Radiance Rail and call it the Radiance Rail Express. Mm. For it to have a similar look just cost a little bit less. So they instead of the five inch post, it's a four inch post. It's square, doesn't have the details on it. The skirt and the cap I think are very, very nice. And the railing. The Radiance Rail is a two-piece top, two-piece bottom, so there's a lot of materials in it. That's why you don't see the hardware. I like to tell people that the more hardware you see, the less the de rail will cost. Conversely, if you don't want to see hardware on it, it'll cost you a little bit more because they have to be able to get the, the clips and the uh, attachment system to hold into the 4x4s to pass some sort of engineering code. So this rail being just a top one top piece, one top piece top, one bottom piece, you have to give, you see a little bit of hardware. Yep. But for the uh, the cost differential, it's probably worth it. We sell quite a bit of this rail right here, the uh, the Radiance Rail Express in the colors. The white is they have this in white and it runs about twenty five to twenty nine dollars a linear foot based of course on my sleeve cap and a skirt and a six foot section add it up and divide it by sixty I'm sure you've heard I've said that plenty of times uh, over of the course, years that equation. and then the colors are thirty one to thirty six so there's a twenty five percent say reduction in price from the radiance to the express we sell an awful lot of it sometimes people will use the radiance railing with the express sleeve cap and skirt, save himself a little bit save of money a right there. Of there. But rails are, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, should I spend more money on the decking and less on the railings? S some people think that way. They'll get the most beautiful decking and they'll put a basic PVC rail on it. Does that take away from the decking itself? Or? No, it makes the deck look nice. But personally, I, I've been on so many decks throughout my life that I would rather see a lesser, if you have a budget, of course a less of a price on the decking and more expensive railings. Interesting. Because you're, you look at the... It's more in your line you, of sight yeah, if you think about it. Once you have your deck for a while, you're not really looking at the deck. You're not looking Especially down. if you have, you know, if it was at Matt's house, you'd have, you know, kids' toys and yeah. all kinds of stuff all over the place. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even oh, see yeah. the, the, the decking itself, but yeah, you the, definitely see the railing. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Yeah, so I think, personally, I think if you, if you have to make a trade-off, then go to a nicer upgraded rail. railing. Yes. Okay, let's get into the AZAC rails. AZAC has always had a more higher end railings, but uh, when again, once they merged, the uh, the AZAC people realized that the oh, that's the, the visualizer. That's uh, that these rails. If they had to make it, they, they co-brand the rails, so a lot of the parts are interchangeable. It's also the same part. So we have. Uh, let's look at some of. Okay, so we have the the premier. Okay, this is one I have right here. So what they were able to do was this is the, actually this is the old style one, and it'll show you what the differences are. The old style has the. Uh, this is the old style, and they made it. They put their premier top on the TimberTech Radiance platform. That's the hmm. best way to say it, and because that's what they did. And uh, here's one right here. This one is a pre AZAC Premier Rail for the new system with the, uh, with the uh, H channels like that uh, TimberTech uses. So they have what's co-branded. So you use the same H channels, use the same balusters, They'll fit for both. They all, and when you look at the boxes, they say TimberTech and AZAC on them. The hardware is the same. But the sleeves are a little bit different. The, uh, as I mentioned earlier on the radiance rail, the sleeve is a five inch rail. This is actually the old style. Man, I'm going to ask you to pull that big monster up over the there. cable rail. Yeah, that's the new one. So this one is the premier. This is what we probably sell the most of. It's all your own personal tastes and preferences because all these rails are so similar. Now check this baby out. Whoa. 
My buddies over at CPG Building Products brought this to me because I told them I was going to be doing this show. Talking and, about yeah, it. Yeah, this is a nice one. So this one is the new. This one is the trademark rail. It's got a little bit of a curve on the top of it up here, and the posts are a little wider. Nasty. I think this one is a five and a quarter, five and a half inch post. It has a little bit of a larger cap on it. This is, I guess, they call this their island cap. So wow. when you price these rails out, they're going to be a few dollars a foot more than the TimberTech Radiance. The rails are about the same price. Of course, the infill options are going to be the same, but this post is larger, and the cap and the skirt are much larger. So they'll have um, it'll be a few dollars more per foot, but nonetheless, beautiful rail. This, they have this real nice, you know, the cable infill. Yeah, we sell an awful lot of it. It is kind of pricey. But opposed to glass, glass may cost $10, $15 a foot less. But if you're on the ocean, which a lot of people are around here, the salt spray, you can... You're going through enough Windex yeah, you'll to keep be, that yeah, clean. You'll be, you'll be, it's very difficult to clean these because it just, whereas this doesn't, the, the salt spray doesn't do anything. And to no these. worry of corrosion with yeah, this again, you can go, steel. Yeah, you can go up to, it's 316 stainless steel. This, uh, this intermediate balancer is like a powder coated aluminum. The... Uh, but this is the rail, you can go up to 60 feet. So people always say, well, how can you price out, or what's a linear foot price on a cable rail? It's very difficult to accurately get a price because these are the expensive parts. Now you can go 60 feet with just having one section of these. But if you come around a corner and you have a four foot return, then you're going to have to put one of those $500 sections of hardware there. Mm -hmm. So that's where it starts getting kind of pricey. I've seen plenty of people across the front use the cable rail and then going down the stairs they'll use the black round balusters. Then the next question is how this works with the lights. Yep. Now, TimberTech AZAC or CPG building products have three different size lights. We have the, one want to pull this down right, and, and bring the, the, uh, that pretty white one over here. That was right over here without knocking too much stuff over. For the Evo, the um, Radiance Rail Express, which has a smaller railing, you'll use the four inch light. We saw that in the video with Jason. This one is the five inch one, and this one will work on the, uh, of course, the Radiance, and I think on the uh, Evolutions really use that larger one, but you really wouldn't because it doesn't really fit for it. You can fool around with it, but you wouldn't do that. I've, I've had people do it before because it has the flat top. I've seen people do all kinds of things with these parts. And then for the the, the uh, AZAC rail, whether it be the uh, the Trademark or the, or the Premier, they have the five and a half. The reason, then they, now someone's going to ask me, why do they have a five and a five and a half? On this radiance rail, if you cut this rail on a 45 degree angle, if you're going to have a, a return that's a 45 degree, it fits perfectly in between these two beads. But if you take this rail, for instance, and you cut this on a 45, it's, it's longer. Mm. So you go, it doesn't fit in between these, so they need a, a wider rail to make it fit. That's the reason why they have to have the third size and of course there's a light to fit with the island cap. There's actually a, there's an, a cap light with the islands. I have it on, on I think I have it on the display out of my, out my showroom but there's so actually there's an extra light. There's the island cap, the lighted island cap, there's the four inch, the five inch and the five and a half inch cap lights. So some options there. Yeah and then we have the uh, the accent lights uh, what's super popular is uh, the riser lights, and then my personal favorite is the under under rail light that fits in between here. And that thing has six little LED units on it. Yeah, lights. it really lights it up. Okay, we have one more, which is that mentioned. This reserve. one is the reserve rail. Boom. Nice. I think it's almost. Cap on that I thing, think it's huh? some, is this one? Sometimes it doesn't fit on all houses. If you have yeah, a big you house. Have a this, big house yeah. This. If you have a big house, I mean, this big is this is what you get because you can, this is only. I think it's a six inch, a six and a quarter inch sleeve. Now, Very what's great about this sleeve is that it'll slide over a six by six. And so I've had people buy those and slide them over a six by six. Sure, it's two hundred dollars for an eight foot one, one wow. of these, but they're really nice. You got the their their huge monster cap in this skirt, and as Jason mentioned. 
It's not a square baluster, it's a little oversized wider baluster, so it's more of a rectangle. It's probably close to two inches in width and an inch and an eighth or so in, in depth. And it has the five inch cap on the top, real nice. Again, this one is the, the old style, but the only thing difference is that the, just how this cutout is, it, the new one fits on the, uh, the Timber Tech platform. But nonetheless, we probably sell a few sections of these few decks worth a year. Mm -hmm. comes out, it's not super, super expensive. It's probably in the $55 a linear foot range, which isn't too bad for what it is, for this, you know, just the size of it. And it just comes in white. And I think they have, these pieces come up in, I think, 12 foot lengths. So you could put a six foot section in the middle. I think you can probably go 12 foot with this because it may have the, uh, pass the codes on that. And why don't we get this out of the way so we can see you. No. Oh, oh, you're knocking over our, uh, Oh crap! Okay, where's the intern to come and clean this place? Up? <laughs> okay. Got a lot of got a lot of railing here. As you can see, the TimberTech and Azac have great railings. These rails are really nice. They may cost a little bit more than the Trex rails, and you can see there's a show just like what we did today for the uh, TimberTech and Azac rails with the Trex rails. Mm -hmm. Check that one out on that the Deck Network one. show. And uh, again, great rails. They're very versatile. You can do an awful lot. You can mix and match. You can put all sorts of infill options. It takes a while to figure this stuff out, and these companies certainly have done it. And as I say, the bigger companies have the nicest rails without question. So Timber Tech and Azac, great railings. Anything you want to add to that, Matt? No, I just think that um, I'm blown away with all these different railing options, and I'm sure there's going to be some questions from it. So if anybody has any questions from today's mm -hmm. show or any of the shows they've seen, Mike, how would they get in Yeah, you can just write it, Mike, at the network.com Or if you want to know about fashion or the, the know, New York Mets or, or Anything, whatever. really, that's on your mind, Matt at the network.com <laughs> We will uh, be getting back to you promptly. <laughs> all right, Mike, okay. a great one in the books. That's it for today's show. Have a great day. And we're going to throw something at you. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Man. That's it.